feel so much better now that I went to the hostel to drop my hand luggage and just change into lighter clothes. Now I'm going to LX Factory, which is an X Factory, and it's now really cool with plenty of shops and restaurants because I haven't had any breakfast or lunch. Obviously my usual luck is always with me and there's a train strike so I need to get an Uber instead of the train which I had already paid the tickets for. Hi! Hola. Sorry! Amida. Yes! first day in Lisbon, I had a lovely lunch at Cantina LX. <laughs> Sitting down in the garden with delicious food and a delightful glass of wine was pure heaven. Unfortunately, I couldn't film the food as my phone was almost dead, so I asked the waitress if she could charge it for me. After lunch, I walked all the way to the Tower of Belém, but before I got to admire the beautiful bridge, which famously resembles San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge, but is 30 years younger. Behind me is the Tower of Belém and Portuguese explorers would live from here to go on long journeys across the world with their ships. And now I'm going to look for a pastel de nata. There was a long queue to go into the tower 
but the only queue that I'm willing to do today is to get a pastel de nata. Italian people at the, at the hostel, which is something I love when I travel in hostels. As you can see from my color, I didn't wear sunscreen today, so I deserve it. I'm going to see the sunset from one of the most beautiful miradores, I think they're called of Lisbon, which the girl that was at the check-in this morning, at the reception this morning, recommended. I'm really excited. The view is going to be good. So, let's go. 